guys, welcome to the Intermicro Oven Pocket Podcast. Here today are your hosts, Bree and Kieran. This is our second recording because I messed up. <laughs> All right. Also, Kieran doesn't have like a regular microphone today, so y'all gonna have to have this echoey one. Uh, sorry. Hey. I don't. I don't actually feel that much remorse, but whatever. Anyway, today is a brain rot episode. We talk about whatever we want. We have a conversation. Yeah. That's it. Fun. You feel like you, the whoever listens to this will feel like in a three-way uh, friendship where two of the friends are much closer than like the third person, <laughs> and you're like the third person. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, you, sorry, you don't get to say much edgewise. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. You're just gonna have to hear us, <laughs> unless you're talking yeah. to yourself. In that case, that's a different story. We're just not paying attention yeah. to you. <laughs> Yeah, might be extra sad. Aw, big sad. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> do you want to start with your story, or do you want me to start? Yeah, I'll start with my story this time. Okay. Um, okay, so yesterday we went to the dollar store. We got some candy. It was super fun. Um, then we went to Walmart so that my mom could return something. And while she was doing that, me and my brother were just going to go stand over, like a little bit away because then we were going to head in that direction so we just kind of stood there for a little bit waiting for my mom to come back and so me and my, my brother were just standing there and he had a little toy gun from the dollar store and some one of the workers i think he was like what are you i don't know he was pushing some kind of like big heavy thing i don't remember what it was but he was like you know just pushing it along the path he saw me and my brother and he was like oh no because my brother was holding a gun the toy gun and he was like oh no don't shoot me ha 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 and then he and then my brother did not shoot him so that was nice no two and all and then we continued about we were still in the same area once my mom came came back we started looking through some clothes and the guy passed by again he was like he like waved me over and he gave me like some candy and he was like here for your brother because he didn't shoot me and that was super fun super cute amazing absolutely yeah. amazing it was with those fruit gummy things so yeah Aww. My, brother, you know. my gosh your brother's so cute <laughs> oh and then we also got the christmas tree yesterday too <gasps> I totally forgot <laughs> about Christmas. <laughs> oh no! I don't know how. I don't know how. Whatever. No. Ugh. You good? Yeah. Anyway, so today, me and my friends, we went to what's it called? The mall, and I'm gonna give them uh, what's it called? Names like right now, and on the top of my head, right now, their code names will be Jasmine and. Um, 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 baby, <laughs> baby, <laughs> yep, they're just called baby, whatever, um, so Jasmine and baby, right, so we were at the mall, and obviously it was so fun, so baby went over to get something in the manga section, because, you know, they like manga, we love manga, it's okay, we love them, and so me and Jasmine, we were in the, in the, what's it called, the line, because we already got our stuff, and we were just waiting, and this lady, you can smell the Karen from her, and this lady came up to me and was like, oh, is this where the line is, and, you know, me being polite, and me being, like, you know, more clarification, because I realize sometimes I say things without actually having clarification you know because that's just kind of a had bad habit of mine so i said very kindly very politely um oh yeah just just behind us and she like without any hesitation yeah i know behind you i was like uh you asked okay i was just you didn't have to be rude you didn't have to do anything <laughs> and jasmine was just looking at me you know those stares when you're just like what just happened and Jasmine was just like, you know, really angry, obviously. But I was just, I was just laughing. I was like, <laughs> baby came back to the line, and they were like, I mean, like we told them the story when we went out of the store, and they were like, oh, is that the person we? I just cut. <laughs> In that case, good. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> because obviously we left like a spot for them, and I was just like. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Whatever. What a weirdo. 
Like, who spilled on their coffee? Like, <laughs> who spilled on their coffee that morning? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, pretty young, you know? I, <laughs> I like, don't even know you. Calm down. <laughs> like, <laughs> who died? I don't <laughs> Who died? Wow. wow. Can you imagine, though? Being that angry at the world? Wow, can that be me? Uh, Wanna do it back and forth? What about you? Back and forth. Um anything recent you've oh, been doing? Today, so yesterday we put up the Christmas tree. Today my brother decided to do some redecorating and he took down all of the ornaments. <gasps> yeah. No. Well, already he could read. He can't reach? He can't reach the ones at the top. Like, everything that he could reach, he just kind of took it off. Maybe you should just so. leave it like that. I don't I don't <laughs> see the point of just keep putting it back up, but he's just going to keep putting it down. Goodness. Oh, also, the reason why we went to the dollar store was because last year, my brother kept opening gifts early. So this time we bought a bunch of one dollar gifts so that he can open one every day. So we don't have to worry about him opening them early and then having nothing left on Christmas. Oh and my gosh! Pro thinking. Pro thinking. Big brainer. You've gotten really good at like knowing what he's gonna do next. <laughs> you gotta be three steps ahead. Very very fast. He's very smart. You know. He is so so so, so yes. <laughs> you had a stroke. You okay? Yes. <gasps> so, is uh-huh. it... <laughs> so is it me again? Yes. Okay. So like school, right? I'm mm-hmm. in gym, and the gym teacher, he looks at me. Right? I've been there mind you since like day two because day one I I was in a different class I had to transfer so so since day two I don't think I've ever been absent by that point right guy looks at me I'm calling him Mr. Minotaur because it's very close to his name so Mr. Minotaur looks at me he looks confused right and I'm just I'm just like staring back you know like we're at the field and I'm just looking at him like what <laughs> so and then he was like he mutters to me he's like like to the whole class by the way have you always been here <laughs> <laughs> he's like are you in a different class and i'm like no <laughs> <laughs> what and he's what like that? he's like, like he's like Oh, your name's Tiffany, right? And I'm like, no. And since I'm Asian, the other, the only other Asian girl in that class would be Tiffany. And I was like, what? <laughs> really? And he's like, since day one, have you always, have you, were you here last time? Yes. And and this time, the whole class was like helping me out here. They're like, yeah, she's she's been here since day one. And and I was so confused. He was like. Oh, hmm. And I was like, I've corrected you on my name before, right? Because, because they've done attendance ever since. Mr. Minotaur has done attendance all the time, and it doesn't make any sense. Like you confuse me for the only other Asian girl in that class. You kidding me? What? Like what? Did you only the first day and lock out for everything else? I don't know. Dude's been on his phone, you know, like after he interrupts uh, football, he's just been on his phone. So I understand, but he doesn't know any, he knows everyone else. He knew Tiffany and not me. I don't know. Oh my Did he think me and Tiffany were the same person or like, I don't know. <laughs> kind of teacher. And it's like, it's been months. It's been months. And I'm like, what's happening here? What a weirdo, man. <sighs> is that, is that like, is that, am I supposed to be offended <laughs> right now? <laughs> like, 
like the 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 lady that he he compared me to is like knockout gorgeous. Okay, like I'm I I'm not offended by looks. I'm offended by like yeah, she's the only other Asian kid. Therefore, she could be Tiffany. And I'm like, um, no. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's a weirdo. Uh, I didn't like him wild. from day one. Okay, what about you? Oh, um, do you remember for the Halloween episode we were talking about candy? Did we talk? So we talked, we disagreed about M&M's, we disagreed about Skittles. Mm-hmm. Um, but what about Reese's Pieces? I love Reese's Pieces. Me too! The <gasps> small candies I got from the dollar store. Oh my gosh, <laughs> thank goodness. I was gonna throw I mean, hands. It's good. Like, like Re- there's Reese's. Like, Reese's is like, you know, it's like, it's pretty good. I'll eat it. It's not my favorite, but I'll eat it. I like it. Yeah. But then there's Reese's Pieces, which is just so good. I don't know why. Like, they're bite sized. Like they're good. Yeah, like the, the outer shell, the inner peanut butter. Mm. And it's not like too much of it because, like, too much of them is like gonna hurt you. It's like in your mouth, you know, like the texture is there for too long and then it's like on the roof of your tongue. It's not like that because it's bites. Yeah. Yeah. You understand. Yeah. Well, of course I understand. I asked Juniper and she said with the M&M's and Skittles thing that she does both. As in she puts Skittles all in her mouth and she puts M&M's all in her mouth. And she says that we're ridiculous that we're even fighting about this. Look, I don't know. I I kind of just like I'm like okay, you know what? Okay, it's just like uh, that makes sense at least, you know. Like she's a type to just handfuls at a time. Like okay, that's a type. I just I still don't get you and like oh M and M's that all have the same flavor. Let me just put them all in at once. But then Skittles with different flavors. Let's 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 put them all in at once. And M and M's even though they're the same one, that's not. Stop it. What is it like eating so many Skittles at once? I, look, I got sick after doing that. It was really great. But, no. It's just good. I just like Skittles more, and I just want, like, a thousand of them in my mouth. Uh, uh. I, I don't know how else to put it to you, man. Like, m ms <laughs> is the kind of good that I just want to savor. Skittles the one that I want to vacuum into my mouth and feel all the tastefulness at the same time. Mm. I don't know, just the vibe, man. Okay, You're okay, hurting. Okay. What? Do you want to hear a joke? What? Do you want to hear a joke? Okay. What do you call a line of rabbits marching backward? Um... What? A receding hairline. Uh huh. You're so good. Do you have another joke? Okay. How does a penguin build its house? Um. How? It glues it together. Okay. <laughs> Brie, are you good? Yeah. That was... I know this is a random episode, but that was just, like, random, random. <laughs> yeah, of course it's random, random. This is a random episode. <laughs> Hello? You're, like, you're great. This- the random episode was your idea. What? I, I guess it's random, but it's too random. Like, I mean, I thought there would be some kind of connector, but you know, this no, is a, random jokes. This this is fine. Do your stand up comedian thingy. Can you can you like make me laugh? Make me laugh genuinely. Okay, me and my girlfriend watched two films back to back last night. Luckily, I was the one facing the TV. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a chuckle, but like. <laughs> oh, come on. A chuckle is a little loud, but also we can just see 
wish now. Big, oh, big that laugh. Was, that was a papyrus laugh, not a sand laugh. That doesn't count. Come no, on. no, I want a papyrus laugh, not a sand <laughs> laugh, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I made myself laugh. That was great. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. I'm very. One? It's what? You want another one? Go on. What do you call a man with no arms and no legs stuffed into a, into your mailbox? A mailman? Boob. A boob? Bill. Bill? Yeah. Why? Why Bill? I actually don't get that one. <laughs> That's sad. Alright. Um, do, do you want to like another one? Or? Go, go on. I want to see how long until it makes me like cackle. Man, okay. <laughs> oh, this one is definitely you. So I told you 10 jokes to get you to laugh. No pun intended. Huh. <laughs> so sad. That was that was that was a little sad, yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're sad. Me? Wow. Yes. Why am I the sad one? Right. Oh, this is the one I told you. Why don't cannibals eat clowns? Because they taste funny. Yeah, it's like five in the morning or something when you texted me that. I don't know. Like, are you brain rotting at that time or <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm reading these jokes. Yeah, I know, but, like, why are you just randomly texting just, in the morning like that? I'm like, um... It's so great that you're about to reply, and then I'll be like, oh, right. And then I'm like, okay, let me go find a joke, so this isn't awkward. I... <laughs> I made you laugh. I know, but... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, a joke so it won't be awkward wakes up. How do I respond to this? <laughs> I'm just like in school in the lunchroom, like, what the heck am I supposed to say to this? Honestly, what? You're Confused. supposed to give another joke back. Why is this common procedure? I. What do you mean I was supposed to make a joke back? I'm not doing a joke back. Oh my gosh, you're not? What is wrong with you? I give you a joke and you don't give me one back? No! Fine, fine. Knock, knock. No. It's too late now. You replied awkwardly. I can't. We're gonna end the episode at 17 minutes. <laughs> knock, knock. The outro. Knock, knock. The outro. Knock, knock. Who's there? The outro. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, I mean, you want to close it up? No, I was joking. Who's there? Bree. Please. Mercy. <laughs> There. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you talking about? Knock, 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 and so now I'm answering. Who's there? No one's at the door anymore. I left. Oh my God. What? I, I can't, like, look down the street. I can't look both ways to see if I can find who it was. No, I flew away. I flew away like a flock of birds. I turned into a bird flock and flew away. You'll never see me again. Oh, my gosh. I got ran over by a car, and then some part of me got hit by a, a by a plane, and then a truck, then a train, and I think there was only four birds in that flock because I'm already dead. That was so sad. Yeah, it's okay though. You want to hear another joke? <sighs> Do I want to hear the joke? I like this one. Okay, go on. Are you ready? Ready? Yeah. An untalented gymnast walks into a bar. Okay. That's it. An untalented. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got you to laugh like one of the two. That one was good. That took me a bit. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I win. 
win. You win. My God. Win. You win. Ugh, you're big dumb. <laughs> you're you're horrible. What's wrong with you? I thought that that was great. <sighs> okay, I guess you're right. I guess it's a little great, but also you're bad. <laughs> you're like bad. You're so good. You're so awesome. You're entirely bad. Excuse me. No. What do you mean no? no. Yes. No. No. <gasps> you can't say no to me. Yes, I can. I just did and I will. What are we arguing about? What is wrong with you? What's your problem today? You just sassed me. You're sassing me. I don't even know me. what I'm saying no about. <laughs> I'm going to make more inhumane noises. <laughs> Why? Because you confused me, and now I will confuse you. No, because I heard you say something, and then I was like, no, because my first instinct to say no to something if I don't understand what they said. Why? What if someone's like, hey, you want to get murdered? I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, because I didn't hear them, and then I get murdered. So my first instinct is to say no, just in case it's bad. And then even if it was something good, I could just play it off as a joke, like, oh, of course I want to do that. I'm just joking. Bree, you could just say, what? You know, like a normal person would. Yeah, but then if you say what too many times, it sounds like you're a bad listener. Well, you are. Exactly. I'm trying to cover that up. But it doesn't work if we already know. Well, well, someone might not know. Uh, And then that speaker would come in handy. You don't understand, but we can smell it. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't smell it if you don't have a nose. Voldemort would be all. That's Kieran's real name. What? How dare you? How dare you? I have a nose. If you look at the art, I have nose. Don't worry, Kieran's just insecure. Don't bother her about it. Kieran has a nose. Kieran has a nose. Kieran does not have a nose, and Kieran's real name is Tom. No. You're I bad. Have to stop You're it. bad. Um, like, You're bad. You know what? At least my middle name isn't in real life. Mm-hmm. Blank, because I can't say it, but you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I like my middle name. Ah, oh, frick you. <laughs> you used to hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I moved on. Oh. Come on, this is ages ago. Catch You're up. dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're dumb. Wow, this really is elementary school, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. It is exactly like elementary school. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how do you feel? How do you feel about that? I'm alive, I guess. Oh, dang it. <laughs> what do you need to feel? Dead. Dead inside. No. no. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> you see, saying no comes in handy. Freak, freak, freak. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> My God. I really want to know your knock knock joke that you were gonna tell me before. I honestly wasn't gonna say a knock knock joke. I was just gonna scream in your ear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I really just messed up that joke, man. Huh? Yes, you ding dong. You did. Yeah. Actually, you messed it all up. You're horrible. You messed up this entire episode. We've got to start from the beginning again. No, we're not starting from the beginning. We are not starting from the beginning. How dare you? I mean, how much audio do we have to make up for anyways if we start from the beginning? Like 24 minutes. We <laughs> <laughs> can make up another 24 minutes. No! Uh, I want to sleep, you know? Alright, I suppose. Oh my gosh, I still have school, you know. Anyway. What? You're so old fashioned. <sighs> okay. <laughs> the best moments are the awkward silences. I know, it's like. <laughs> just silence. Like, you can tell so I'm often, judging. Whenever there's just silence, I have to go check that the call didn't drop. 
I do that too. I do that too. Anyway, the reason why this episode is so short and why I have to get it done so early is because Tech Week. I have my show on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'm excited, but I'm also scared. Applause. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it because I'm using a fake hand. Then no, I don't. What? How, How would I, I just hear that? Tap the screen with the fake hand. Try it. Are you? It's not reading the tapping. Oh no! That's sad. It's like I can see that the green ring is not popping up, and I'm like, oh. Good. That's sad. Anyway. Uh, maybe I'll talk and tap. Like if I go like this, can you hear it now? No. Oh. <laughs> Man. Wow. How dare you? I have a new thingy going on with Bibi and Jasmine and because we're both in the same creative writing class and we're so cool we decided to make a whole <sighs> so Jasmine is making the story I will be comic ing and Baby will be doing all the research and storyboarding and we're all gonna do voice acting and I'm terrified because this will be going up on webtoons if ever we actually do it. You know, if I draw. <laughs> uh, you'll need a name. I'll subscribe immediately. Thank you. It's 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 not gonna be that popular. I I, I don't know. It might. I don't know. It might. It might, but we're working very hard on it, so I hope it is like good. Like at least know, maybe you'll like publish it independently and then webtoon will reach out and like would you want to be a part of webtoon originals? And then you'll get, you'll have to completely redo it. <sighs> completely redo it. Well, well, not completely redo it, but just kind of like, I don't know, I've seen that. Like, people are like, okay, I got uh, offered by Webtoon Originals, to, I mean, Webtoon to like join Webtoon Originals. So that's super cool. And it's like, uh, it's just like I don't know, trademarked or sponsored, or I don't actually know what happens, but it's like, and then they transfer it, and then they kind of change the style a little bit. That's so much work, though. You really want me to redraw everything? I don't even know what kind of style I'm going to draw it in because, like, I have a complicated style. So it, it's not, like, complicated, but, like, it's very detail-heavy. So I don't know if I could, like, simplify it to be more anime or, or you know, a little bit something. I'll probably I'll, – I'll get back to my group. I'll ask them. But, you know, it's just a little bit of a thingy I have to think about because I think the cover designs will be more, you know, very detailed and how my style really is. But I don't know how I'm going to draw it, draw it, you know? Yeah. Like, usually I'd have more time. But color? What? Yeah, and then do it in color, black and white. Uh, I'm probably going to color it. That's also the other thing. I'm going to have to make it so simplified that I could color it easily, you know? Uh, I mean, I got I got a new iPad. I would use Procreate. So that would be, like, faster to use instead of my Paint Tool Sci because Paint Tool Sci sometimes just doesn't have the tools I need because I don't have version 2. So whatever. Uh And um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'll get back to them, but I don't know how much detail they want it to be or if they just couldn't let me have the, the liberties to draw it how simplified I want it to be. I don't know. I could just, I could draw anime pretty quickly, but like my style is detailed. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like rambling. What about you? Well, I mean, it's a random episode. Go off. Random. I mean, ramble. Like, I told jokes for like a good 10 minutes or so. <laughs> That's fair. Anyway, so basically what's happening is we're actually going to, like, put it on Webtoons. And I have to make it simplified so I can do it, I don't know, monthly, weekly. I don't know. Something will have to be up there in a, an amount of time. And that's difficult in of itself because it's not just writing because I write faster than I draw, obviously. And just drawing is hard. Drawing is hard. And no matter how long I will be drawing, for, well, it will still be Hard. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask what the story is about? Like, is it going to be like slice of life, supernatural, adventure? The funny thing romance? is that it's supposed to be like a romantic comedy, but there are lots of undertones of horror. So it's like main character running constantly from horror because they just want to have a boyfriend, you know? <laughs> 
It's a romance, horror, comedy trio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, like, a horror is not going to be, like... The- But, like, the horror won't be as prevalent. Yeah, it would be, like, more comedy than... It would be more, like... I feel like it would be more, like, on the tier list, it would be romantic than comedy than horror. But, like, we gave... We're starting to give them more complex backstories and fleshing out their character more before I can draw them and, like, set them in stone. And it's, like, going along well. So, I don't know. It could be a toss-up. Like, we were planning on having the horror as a thing to be comedic effective, you know? Like, oh, yeah, this is happening, but also he doesn't want it, so he just keeps running, (laughs) you know? (laughs) Like, constantly running from the danger because he just wants a boyfriend, okay? (laughs) And, you know, mood. But (laughs) it's it's about, that's the joke. But now that we keep fleshing them out, I'm not actually sure. It could be a toss-up. It could be more romantic than, what's it called? Than horror? Than comedy? Because I remember we're making more, like, characters, and it's starting to get a little bit, like, topic-heavy, where you'll actually get sad for some of the characters, but I don't know. I'm not really sure. It could be a slice of life, too, because, like, we're adding more characters. It's, it's, it's... It's interesting. I really don't know. It could be a toss up. <laughs> I I thought I knew. <laughs> funny funny no. story. What? Oh, I was just gonna say. Speaking of webtoons, yeah. My favorite one is Hooky. <gasps> What's Hooky? It's super cute. Super. It was like really popular. I think um, a while ago, like a lot of people read it and stuff. I think. I've heard like, about like, it. Like, they're, they're, they're more popular now, but, and it's, it's on Webtoon, but it's, like, what, like, you can't binge read it all at once, because you gotta, like, there's a timer, like, you unlock one episode every day. Okay. Type of thing, and the story is so cute, it's, okay, um, it starts focusing on these two, I think they're twins, he's, uh, let's just say siblings, anyway, two siblings, they're gonna go, it's a classic going to a school, but then they miss the bus, it's a typical yellow bus, and they miss it, so they go to their aunt instead, okay. uh, um, I don't know, along the way they mess up somewhere, and then they run away for a little bit, because they're too scared to tell their parents that they missed the bus to their first day of school, <laughs> Me. <laughs> and it's set in this world that's like witches and then regular folk I think and then um, I think it's just like uh, they're supposed to be in harmony but witches are kind of iffy because they used to burn witches but that's not allowed anymore yeah, that's just, not allowed like, anymore them, they go to a, like, a, little, a little town and they, there's a princess and there's a, a, another kid and then there's a fortune teller guy and it's so cool so cute and then it just goes on it's super cool because especially like eventually you start getting like um like the view of witches versus like uh non-magic and it's so interesting because it's like on one hand witches do sometimes do terrible stuff but it's also like humans also end up burning witches and it's like you see the siblings like like, there is romance but like for most a theme that it keeps coming back to is the siblings relying on each other yeah and it's super cute super cute i love it and the ending was so pretty so nice I have the one got thing about to get wet Yeah, one the, my favorite thing about the key is the ending, the way they do it. Because whenever a story ends, I always feel sad because it's like, they, they, you know, because it feels like it's the end. You know, obviously, like that's it. There's no more adventure. And like, even if they're like, oh yeah, like sometimes they'll separate. Sometimes it'll be like a temporary separation, but they get back together and like everyone's still friends or whatever. But it feels like an ending, and like none of them are there. And, you know, but with Hookie, the ending, the way they did it was kind of like, um, they did an ending with the characters like not being all together, but like they were still friends and they showed that because they had like little, little cut scenes, like, okay, this is the end, but here have some little cut scenes of them, like around the campfire in the future, hanging out in the future. And so it felt like, okay, so I won't see it, but it actually feels like the story continued. Like, oh, oh wonder if it feels like the end again. Aww. Like, that's it. They don't, there's nothing else to their story. But with Hookie, it's like, oh. 
Like, like we're just not seeing it. That's all. Like that feel like falls. It. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen it. I've tried to, but I haven't. It's fine. Yeah. So yeah. My gosh, I have got to get webtoons. Who should? I I I miss reading comics and stuff. You know? There are a lot of good ones on webtoon. I, I want to uh-huh. read High Class Homos again because I remember oh, yeah. reading it back in Instagram when uh, Homo Ziri, like, put it up. I mean, Momo Ziri came up, made it, bleh, put it up there. And then they deleted it all. So I have oh, to yeah, go to Webtoon. Because they got, like. They got original, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, like, changed the whole style. Not style. I mean, like, they put it, they updated it to be like you know how they draw it now and it's like uh, uh, I want to read it so bad but it's no longer there and they don't update it there anymore so I gotta get webtoon to read it again and I'm like uh. it's got 21 episodes but 24 if you fast pass I'm not gonna fast pass I'm not great I mean you could they give out uh, unique coins to fast pass and sometimes they give out coins for free like right now they have a launch week going on yeah so then uh, you could get five coins if you log in for five days from the 7th to the 14th if you get five stamps you get five coins Ooh, this should just be yeah. a webtoon episode you just telling me how to do webtoon so <laughs> and then I just talk <laughs> about and then I just talk about special delivery which is like I think the name we're going for but I'm not actually sure whatever awesome. so, <clears throat> do you want to do that <laughs> You talk about webtoons and I talk about special delivery. <laughs> the next next episode maybe because we did the beginning where it really was random. Ooh, right. I also gotta ask, you know, Baby and Jasmine if I can yeah. actually talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No. no that's fine. Next time. Yeah, I'll. I gave you guys a little snippet about ish ishy you don't even know the main characters or anything so i didn't actually give anything away just like genre you know yeah <sighs> oh, okay okay randomness okay. <clears throat> now should we write this down so we don't forget next time uh yeah we just talk about webtoon and special delivery if they let me <laughs> oh wait i'll do it other comments as well like topics and stuff well i mean yeah sure like is it i mean it's technically a webtoon, a website to. Okay, I'm sorry. That was like a bad joke. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a joke. I mean, if you twist it a little bit, oh, whatever, I give up. <laughs> huh? Are you okay? Online comics. There you go. You know, webtoon. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Webtoon. Like, Tapas is technically. And I'm like. <laughs> Okay. I give up. I give up with that joke. <laughs> that was like mean for no reason. <clears throat> My gosh. I just, I wrote a very angsty scene because uh, Jasmine wanted me to write the angst because apparently I like writing angst. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. And I did. And. And they hate it in the good way, as in, like, you know, it's angsty, so they hate it, but, like, they love it. They, they, ah, of course. You know? Yes. Mm-hmm. You're going to hate it when you read it, the angst parts. I mean, I think it's mostly going to be comedy. I'm not actually sure. But, like, the angst parts I know you absolutely hate. <laughs> I do. Yes. You just want to be happy all the time. <laughs> I do. No, like, I'll take things, but it's, they need an explicit happy ending. Like, it needs to be very obvious that they're happy now, or else I'm not going to like it. No, so, yeah, definitely. Because every single time, every time I read a gay fic, it's either very explicit, you know, like, thingies, or, I mean, I don't actually read them, but, like, what I've heard. It, or, it's like... You know, it's tragic. And I don't want it to be tragic. I want it to have tragic middle, but like, what? Like actual books? Kind of.
kind of like online and not online. It's just what I've been reading. Like I, I mean, not reading, reading, but like how what I'm reading, how other people are reading. Uh, you know what I mean, right? Like yeah. I'm talking like, to people. We talk about it. Yeah, we talk about it, and they always mention like. Uh, whatever they're reading and it's either very angsty or if it's very like explicit and I don't want it I just want something fluffy cute and and nice you know I just want it I just want the ending to be nice I don't want them to die in the end like how I'm doing with you know Pluto and Alkaios in my <laughs> <laughs> in my main story you want it and then you go around and you do the wrong wrong thing look look they're not yeah. They're not, they're not actually, like, my main characters. They're just a story I like talking about because it, like, has depth. Like, they're not, they're not the, the, the main characters here. I mean, they're all main characters at some point, you know, because it, that's kind of the point of the whole series of mine. But, you know. Yes. Whatever. I, I, I have a fun fact. Huh? Fun fact. Fun fact, go. According to Guinness World Records, the oldest individual living tree is a bristle cone pine named Methusla. At nearly 1,000 years old, its location in the United States is kept secret for its protection. Good. I was going to say don't tell us where it is because I don't trust these people. Wow. You have zero faith in people. I was like, I mean, like. When I read that, I was like, oh, I guess it makes sense. But I didn't actively think somebody was going to go, yes, let me burn down this 5,000-year-old tree. They would, though. Like, maybe, but still. They would. I I, they would. Humans is, they they take the really pretty things, and they're like, oh, I'm going to prove you wrong. And then they do it. They're dumb. They're mean. They would do that. They would, though. Like, you know they would. Yes. Sigh. (laughs) Sigh. Whatever. (sighs) 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 My gosh. Why are people so mean, though? Like, like, why? I don't know. In general. Because, like, I was at school once, and naturally I have a very loud voice. Like, I'm a quiet person, but when I'm with my friends, I'm, like, probably the loudest because that's just how my voice is. It's just very loud. And I I got really riled up, and I jokingly told my friends to shut up so loud. These boys turned back at me, and, and then they kept whispering to each other, and I heard one of them, and she was like, kill yourself. And I was like, uh, okay. No thanks. Won't. Uh, I'm like, excuse me. I was just a little bit loud. You didn't have to go there, sir. It was rude. Wow. I know. It was rude. Yeah. He didn't, like, say it to my face. Like, at least say it to my face, right? Like, <laughs> like just say it to my wow, face. Wow, really? I don't think that'd make it better. I don't care. At least they're not just mumbling to themselves. Then I'd have an excuse to go up to them and be like, what? What? But I can't because what if they didn't actually say that and then they'd use it against me, you know? They'd be like, I didn't say that. And then I would be like, Ha. Exactly, right? I hate them. Like, stop killing um, my vibe. I'm vibing here. I'm just loud. I'm sorry. But you're just going to have to deal with it. It's just how I am. Like, mm-hmm. like you yeah, don't, I mean, like you don't have to like me, but like we're in a hallway full of people. If 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 someone's loud, just someone's loud. You know, you can't do anything about it. Yeah. So, sorry. That was mean of them. What? That was mean of them. Yeah, I mean, you didn't have to go that far, you know. Yeah. What if I was like suicidal? <laughs> I'm not, but like, <laughs> like how dare? How dare you? Yeah. How dare you? I'm just glad Jasmine didn't hear it because I think she she would have went feral. <laughs> it's like, oh, mm. dang, sorry, boys. Guess you'll die. I'm not usually confrontational. Like, I'll be if I want to be, but like, I don't know. I don't know. It's fine though. I don't care. Those people just have nothing else to do in their life, and they're sad, and they're sad. Yeah. 
and sad. And sad. They're sad. They're sad people. Eh. Broski. What about you? Yeah. Had to deal with any um, annoying people recently? Don't say your brother. I'm kidding. No. I would say my siblings. No. No. I guess. Just random. Okay, go on with your random. Um, I mean, there was one time I was like, I was like at like Sunday school and stuff, and like everyone was leaving, and so there were like a lot of cars too to like leave, and so I was just like kind of waiting for a car to pass and trying to run across so I could reach uh, my parents in my car, and uh, there was like a guy or two behind, and like, geez, learn how to cross the road or something. That's the closest thing. Stop that was it. funny though. <laughs> What what gives men like the right to just start talking, you know? Just yeah. talk. Like what gives men the right to talk? <laughs> <laughs> That's a sentence. No, but like why are they just so unnecessarily rude? Uh-huh. So sad. My gosh, at least they said it to your face, right? <sighs> no. I don't think they were I think they were talking to each other. Oh, never mind. That's worse. If you want to talk shrimp about me, at least not behind my back. What? I mean, I prefer it like that. I'd rather than not say it to my face. Oh, okay. Like, how am I supposed to respond? Am I supposed to, like, try to be insulting back? Like, that's kind of boring. I'm going to be like, Am I supposed to turn the other cheek? That's also kind of boring. Like, I'd rather just turn... Maybe just... Maybe they just don't say anything at all, you know? Then we wouldn't have to deal with this. Just kind of stare at them and creep them out. What? Just kind of stare at them and creep them out. I would do that. I would do that. I would do that a thousand times if I wanted to. (laughs) Just stare at them intensely. Don't break eye contact. Watch them suffer. Oh my goodness. Watch them shift in their shoes and wonder, Oh, did I say that too loud? Did I do that? Oh, she's look. They're looking at me. Oh, sweat. <laughs> oh, sweat. You want to know one thing that makes me laugh that's like so inappropriate to laugh at, but I do anyway? Uh, sure. It makes me laugh at inappropriate intervals, and it is that one face a child is making just before they start crying. <laughs> you, you know the one? <laughs> Yeah, but I don't laugh. I would laugh. Like, I keep it in every single time I have to see it because I can't laugh at their faces, but I will go to the bathroom and start laughing. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me, but they're just so... (laughs) Their faces. (laughs) So ugly. (laughs) Wow. I don't find anything that ugly, but like those, those are so, those are so gross, so funny. <laughs> My goodness, they're, they're just very, very, uh, disturbed. yeah, disturbed. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I've accepted that fact though, so like I don't really care. It's just, it's just a thing I have with me. I don't know. <laughs> I've already had everyone look at me and be like, what is wrong with you? They're crying. Yeah, I know. That's the funny part. <laughs> um, did I tell you I did not like kids? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so. it. I don't like kids. I mean, like, I like my cousins, like my tiny ones. But I don't actively would go out of my way to go to a random kid and play with them or coddle them or like give them the anything. I just, I just, I just make them go to the other person that's in the room. And if I'm the only one in the room, I guess I'll just talk to them. I don't know what to do with kids anymore. Very kids. Very good with kids. Yes. I don't understand them. I mean, like I understand ish. But, like, they just cry for no reason because they can't speak. And I'm like, I hate that you cry. It's so loud. You don't stop. What do you want? You know? Wow. Uh Yeah? Do you get it? I suppose. What do you mean, you suppose? It's a yes or no question. I don't know. You're confusing. What? (laughs) 
What? No. I don't know. We don't know. I do not Did? Huh? Okay, okay, ask the question again. I'll give a better answer. I don't remember my question anymore. Oh, yeah. Why do you sound so sad? Because I don't remember it anymore. This is so sad. I'm okay. Then I don't remember it either. Then okay. <laughs> then I okay, guess. Then I guess we just both don't remember. It, it's okay. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> I'm so good at this. I promise. I know what I'm doing all the time. I could. I can Fortnite dance. No, I can't. I can't. I'll never do it again. Again, you have done it once, though. My brother has taught me one, and I regret it. I regret it every day of my life. Just knowing, awesome. just knowing yeah, how to do it. You never know. If Fortnite takes over the world, you know at least one. So maybe you won't be murdered immediately by the Fortnite overlords. <sighs> Please don't put it that way. I think Minecraft <laughs> would do that first, actually. Can Minecraft do that first? I know Minecraft more yeah. than I know Fortnite. No. Fort- I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like Fortnite. This episode has been awkward in the beginning with like story like a little bit awkward I'm gonna be honest and then the middle kind of went to jokes which was also kind of awkward but i mean hey it was kind of higher energy at least and then it kind of just gets back down to awkward has it has it <laughs> why did you sound like me <laughs> no, I- an echo echo I got the last and everything. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Don't don't do it. 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 Don't. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> We're not my doing this. God over tech all the time. The entire time. We just I know, we'll echo. just repeat things back to each other until we forgot where we even started. Oh my gosh, please don't. That would just be the whole episode. Yeah. Just talking. My gosh. My gosh. My gosh. My gosh. How many people died, you think, in the world, just in general? Ever? Ever. At least two gosh i just i don't know why but i knew that you were gonna say that i was like mouthing it at all too oh my gosh (laughs) you're so you're so predictable you're so predictable can you predict this are you dancing no (laughs) dang okay well then i didn't predict that you were just silent i guess yeah i was just silent yeah can you predict this? Is silent. That's nothing. Dummy. You're supposed to do something. No, that's what I'm I'm doing. Nothing. Oops. I, <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my phone. <laughs> you so mean. Yeah, I mean. You echoed me for a good two minutes. A oh, one minute. Okay, whatever. It's still a minute too too much, you know? Oh my no. gosh. Yes! Oops, I dropped it again. Why? What's wrong with you? I have it because... So, I don't have a pop socket, but I have a thing that's like a little ring around my phone. Like, on the back of it. Yeah, I get it. I have this skeleton hand, plastic skeleton hand thing, and I've just kind of been putting the hand on the hook and moving my phone around. Why? Because. I wonder if that's going to affect the audio at all. Well, I'm not hearing it, so no? Hey, it's probably fine. Probably fine. Yeah. Now oh what? Gosh. I don't know. Drama? How long has it been? Is this episode like... What? Is this episode like... Yeah. 
Do you have any more random stuff to share? Uh, well, the person who was playing Ellie in the play just, like, I don't know, wasn't in most rehearsals. So it was either they got kicked out or the teacher or they quit. So we have a week left and we took whoever as the next one. And they're good. They're like really good. But this is their first show and this is a line heavy show. And she would be one of the main characters. And we have a week left. Poor girl, poor girl, poor girl could never be me. I would cry. And she's doing so great. She's doing great. But like, I can't even imagine trying to do that. Wow. I'm like scared for her. There was no like understudy or anything. The understudy is already filled in like soldiers and guards that no one could be before because we didn't have enough people for the cast because we had like a full house on the first day that we had a drama club meeting, but then the second day there wasn't enough people. So then we had like casting, right? And mm-hmm. apparently you were just a few people too short and we had two understudies. Yeah. So those two understudies fit in those roles. And mm-hmm. so now two people quit. So narrator one will be narrator one and Smeagol, which is kind of the funny character. And it will just add like the humor for it. But on the last mm-hmm. week, Smeagol is basically just comedic effect, you know? And Smeagol, you mean the name of 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 Gollum from Lord of the Rings? Okay, look, yeah, yeah, it, it's from Lord okay. of the Rings, but it, it's it's Game of Tiaras is the play. So it's Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's Game of Thrones, kind of like spoof, but it's with like Disney princesses and some other miscellaneous places, miscellaneous shows in the Disney franchise. Okay, so basically, I'm Snow White in that film, in that film, in that play, I'm Snow White in Soldier 2, and basically, Ellie is one of the, like, very line-heavy, very impactful lines, very just hard to play in general, you know, and this poor girl, this is her first year doing, this is her first week doing anything for drama, and oh my gosh, she's... I don't know. I don't know if she can get the lines. And, like, I have faith in her. She's, like, really good. But, like, I'm scared for her, you know? No. I, she's good. She's, like, really good. But I just feel bad that it had to be like this. So I don't know if I should be mad at the other girl who either quit or got fired. But I don't know. Fired? Implying she got paid. <laughs> We're not being paid. <laughs> I wish I could be paid for that. That would be fun. <laughs> My gosh. What about you? Anything new? Uh, mm, I mean, I can be silent for 10 minutes trying to think of something, but... You want me to end it here? Hold on, I'm thinking. Hold on, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm, I'm not even joking. I'm going to be silent for like a full 10 minutes trying to think of something, anything. Well, there's like two minutes, so... Oh. Alright, you might as well do an outro then. <laughs> I mean, you can keep thinking about it. I'll just talk. <laughs> I mean, I mean what, what, do you, what do you qualify as something new? Like, I mean, I don't need anything new. Just anything. It's random. Anything. Um, uh, uh, that's random enough for you? Huh? Was that random enough for you? Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna call this the awkward episode. So people will Yeah, the awkward episode in the microwave oven. That's exactly what's gonna be it. And (laughs) people are just gonna have to know what they're dealing with, you know? Like this one's gonna be awkward and they'll know at this time. So like they can just they can listen or they cannot. (laughs) <laughs> yeah yeah they'll know what they get into you know unless they don't then nah, that's on them you know you want me to do that after? Me. what i have to watch my brother after this oh okay that's new that is new i mean not like really not really but okay outro now go radiate your favorite hot pockets and boil some tea good night no more candy okay. No more candy. No, no more candy okay. in this microwave oven. Oh.